Hello friends! All four-cylinder petrol units have turbocharging, direct fuel injection, and Valvetronic valve control system. They provide 184 or 245 horsepower, 20i and 28i. Recently, more and more often, owners of 2.0-liter turbo engines have to deal with premature wear of the oil pump drive chain. The only symptom is extraneous noise, howling, during an increase in speed. The defect leads to accelerated wear of the turbocharger, increased oil consumption, and in extreme cases, to engine seizure. The 2.0 series N20 also suffers from a short-lived timing chain. In addition, plastic guides and timing chain dampers sometimes crumble. Splinters can get into the oil pickup. Mechanics recommend proactively updating the timing chain and oil pump after 100 to 150,000 kilometers. The atmospheric six-cylinder engine with a volume of 3 liters, 258 horsepower, is practically devoid of serious shortcomings. But there are very few such modifications. It was established before 2012, and the transport tax is unlikely to please anyone. Top unit with a return of 306 horsepower sometimes causes problems with nozzles or even liners. Moreover, there were isolated cases of destruction of the crankshaft. As you might guess, the cost of repairs will be astronomical. The share of ads with diesel F25 reaches 60%. That's enough. Basically, versions with a 2-liter turbo diesel with a return of 184 horsepower predominate. For your information, in Europe, the weakest diesel modification developed 143 horsepower and was exclusively rear-wheel drive, S-Drive 18D. The main enemy of a diesel engine is too long an oil change interval, which loses its viscosity much earlier. This has a particularly negative effect on the condition of the timing chain, as many European users have seen. There, the recommended oil change interval is an incredible 30,000 kilometers. On frequent trips over short distances, for example in the city, there may be problems with the DPF diesel particulate filter. It simply does not have time to complete the process of self-cleaning. With regular unsuccessful starts of self-regeneration, excess fuel is formed that enters the engine oil. Its lubricating properties are lost, which leads to wear of the turbocharger, the motor itself, and the timing chain. An alarming sign is an increase in oil level between changes. The problem of premature timing chain wear is more relevant to the N47 diesel, but the B47 is not immune to this problem either. The timing kit includes several chains, tensioners, guides, etc. The high price is due to the need to dismantle the oil pan and gearbox since the chain is located on the side of the gearbox. An experienced mechanic will need 1.5 days to work. Another problem with the N47 is the risk of spontaneous combustion. The incident may occur due to the fact that the exhaust gas cooler of the EGR system may be leaking. As a result, the coolant enters the intake duct where it mixes with deposits. The resulting mixture, under the influence of high temperature, can ignite directly in the plastic intake manifold. BMW conducted a campaign to eliminate the vulnerability for cars manufactured before December 31st of 2016. There are also malfunctions of the injection pump. If the pump starts to drive chips, then the entire fuel system is contaminated, including the nozzles. And after 150 to 200,000 kilometers, the pump may make noise or leak. The 3 liter N57 turbo diesel, like the 2.0D, is not tolerant of frequent short trips due to the DPF filter. The timing drive here is also located on the side of the box. Luckily, chain problems are much less common than in the 2.0D. Among the disadvantages, a low resource of the belt pulley of mounted units and the EGR valve, exhaust gas recirculation system. After 100 to 150,000 kilometers, the intake track of diesel engines is clogged with soot. As a result, traction drops, the engine starts to work unstably, and errors appear on the dampers in the intake manifold. 
unlike other BMW models, the X3 F25 has a slightly different design of the transfer case for the X-Drive all-wheel drive system. Instead of gears, a chain is used here. According to experts, this solution is more reliable, and any problems are associated only with the neglect of changing the oil. The malfunctions of the all-wheel drive system will be indicated by jolts, jerks, when driving with the wheels completely turned out. Mechanics recommend changing the oil as often as possible, every 40 to 60,000 kilometers. With age, play appears in the spline connection of the front propeller shaft with the transfer case. With regular oil changes, there are no complaints about the operation of the ZF 8HP70 8-speed automatic for a long time. Jerks when shifting can be caused by wear on the torque converter. Luckily, the suspension doesn't pose any major problems and the market offers a wide range of replacement parts at reasonable prices. Silent blocks of levers usually go at least 80 to 120,000 kilometers. The ball bearings will last the same amount. Behind prematurely, a floating silent block may creak. It will be expensive to replace shock absorbers with adjustable stiffness. Conventional shock absorbers are noticeably cheaper and will last over 100,000 kilometers. After five to seven years of operation, a coil of one of the factory rear springs often broke off. Wheel bearings can make noise after 100 to 150,000 kilometers. They change in assembly with the hub. For many, after 100 to 150,000 kilometers, the steering rack starts to knock. Judging by the parts catalog, it has been upgraded several times already, but complaints about knocking appear again and again, regardless of the year of manufacture of the car. Some were lucky enough to install the third rail already. The trade-offs mentioned at the outset have probably led to excessive reductions in production costs. BMW X3 owners often complain about various minor malfunctions. Like most modern cars, the X3 doesn't handle long periods of inactivity well. The battery drains quickly, causing starting difficulties and electronics errors. It is worth considering the possible costs of repairing the sunroof. The plastic latches break and the entire mechanism is blocked. The rear LED lights located on the trunk lid can also fail. To revive the lantern, you will need to replace the board or solder the resistor. Little things on the electrician, as a rule, are caused by contamination of the contacts. After 150,000 kilometers, scuffs on the steering wheel upholstery often become noticeable. If you know of other model malfunctions, be sure to write about it.